Hey parents, Mr. Jim here, and guess what? All of Mr. Jim podcasts, yes, I'm talking kids short stories, kids animal stories, biology squad, bedtime stories, all of them are now available on Story Button. Story Button is my invention that I invented to make it easier for kids to listen to podcasts, their favorite stories, off of screens. Parents, you know how it goes of putting kids to bed, maybe having to use your phone or an iPad to listen to stories. Well, uh, we want to put that to an end and make it easier for you all to listen to audio stories off of a screen. Story Button is a device that connects to your internet to freely access all of the great kids podcasts available in our library. Go to storybutton.com to learn more. And when you order today, you can save $20 and get free shipping at storybutton.com. Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. It was a cold and snowy winter day in the forest. The trees were covered by a thick blanket of white and the ground had a layer of frost. Animals of the forest were all busy preparing for the long, very long winter ahead. And one of these animals was a small, playful squirrel named Sam. Oh, Sam was a curious and energetic squirrel who loved nothing more than to explore the forest and play with his friends. Woohoo! It's I'm a winter. Maybe I can sled or skate or build a snowman. Sam shouted as he tried to explore all the different surfaces with white frost. As Sam scampered through the trees, he came across his best friend, another chipmunk named Chuck. Chuck was busy gathering nuts and seeds in his cheeks to store away for the winter. He was much better about staying focused. Hey, Sam, Chuck called out as he saw his friend approaching. What are you up to today? It was always a little harder to understand Chuck because his mouth was always full of nuts and seeds. It's Amherst Winter, Sam the squirrel replied with a grin. And you know, winter means sledding and fun and snow. Well, that might be true, Chuck agreed. But we have to be careful, too. It's important to gather as much food as we can before the winter gets too cold. You know, otherwise we might not have enough to eat. What a surround. Sam the squirrel decided he better spend, well, at least some time preparing for the cold. So he helped his friend gather those nuts and seeds and store them away in a safe place for the winter. They buried nuts and other food in the ground together until nightfall. Hold on a second. Have you ever watched squirrels in the fall or early winter? Yeah, it's very important for them to store away whatever they can. This very special preparation is called caching. After burying the food, then use their keen sense of smell to find it later when they need something to eat. Uh, well, at least they try. They often forget where they buried their nuts and seeds. As the days went on, the winter grew colder and colder, but there wasn't any snow. Everything was just gray and frozen solid. The animals of the forest huddled together for warmth, trying to survive this very harsh wind and freezing temperatures. But it didn't take long and Sam and Chuck got cabin fever very easily and they didn't want to let the cold get them down. 
you know, they played and explored the forest every day the best they could. So, come on, what's a little cold going to get in the way of some fun? Check, we need to find something to keep us busy besides snow. We can't put a snowman or a slide or build a fort or do anything. Chuck finished Sam's sentence and hung his head down. Chuck, that isn't true. Hey, what if we head down to the little pond? If anything, we'll get a nice walk for the day. Come on. Sam the squirrel said. Yeah, okay, we can do that. I guess. A change of scenery might be nice. Chuck replied. And the two headed out towards the pond. As they ventured through the trees, Sam tried to make the best of it. He jumped from branch to branch, climbing up anything he could, scampering through hollow logs and piles of fallen leaves. His bushy tail helped him balance with ease, and he loved the feeling of soaring through the air between trees. He was <laughs> a bit of a daredevil. Sam, I gotta say, you're very good at making the most simple things exciting, said Chuck the Chipmunk. Chuck was definitely more serious and reserved than Sam, but he was really glad to have a friend who made him laugh and encouraged him to loosen up a little bit. As the friends got closer to the pond, they started to hear a commotion. Honk, honk, honk. What in the world is that sound? Chuck the Chipmunk said. As soon as they came to the clearing, they saw the source of all that honking. What do you think all that honking is? And it was a very strange sight. A group of birds had gathered around a small frozen pond, chirping, tweeting, and honking excitedly. What's going on here? Sam asked, curious as to what was happening. I don't know, Chuck replied, but let's find out. The two friends ran over to the pond, where they saw a group of Canadian geese <gasps> had become trapped in the ice. Oh no, they were flapping their wings frantically, trying to break free, but the ice was thick and frozen around their feet. <gasps> oh no, their feet are frozen to the ice. Oh no. What will Sam and Chuck do? Will they be able to help uh, the geese break free from the ice, or is it all too late? I'm not sure what's going to happen next. We'll have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Wow, looks like we're already back to the show. Great job. You listened all the way to the end, which means it's time for some Critter Protector shout-outs. I want to say hey to Leo from Texas, Sean and Aria from California, Yana and Fia from Maine, and Lily from New York. I'm so glad that you're all Critter Protectors. We could not protect all the critters without you, my friends. Well, you have a super-duper day, and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye! We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. <laughs> 